Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, let's talk about Udu or Odoo Website Builder. This is going to be an honest review about this website. So first things first, what is this website? What is this application? Or rather, what is Udu? So it is an open source ERP system, offers a suite in business applications such like CRM, accounting, inventory, HR, and etc. These are going to be the applications or the offices that it offers. Before, I think seven to eight months ago, there are only five or seven. Right now, there's so much. As you can see right here, if I click view apps right there, you'll notice that we have more than one app. One need, one app. They're the, um, categorized in websites, sales, finance, inventory, human resources, marketing, services, productivity, customization, and so much more. Now, that's going to be basically the knowledge of Udu. So it's also used by small businesses to large enterprises. You'll see also that this is modular. Use only what you need. As you can see right there, it has these kinds of choices. So what is going to be the pros and cons? Let's start with the pros. Of course, as you can see right here, optimize your productivity. So basically for this one, it has an all-in-one platform. All tech in one platform. It is a customizable and modular website builder. If you're into website building, this is going to be a simple drag and drop. You don't have the code, you don't have to use Python or some advanced coding to get into your website building. Of course, it's going to be customized and modular, as I said, and it's cloud-based or non-premise deployment. It is also a user-friendly interface, especially for version 15 plus or 15, version 15 moving forward. And then the best part about this one, it has a very active community. As you can see right here, it is 40,000 plus. Of course, it also open source for tech savvy teams and great flexibility. That doesn't mean that you have to be tech savvy to use this one. Again, this is user friendly. Let's talk about the cons. Of course, if we mention the pros, let's talk about the cons. So the cons for this one is learning curve for new users. It may be a bit challenging, but again, it's still user friendly. Just have your patience and your dedication and you'll get there. So there will be some advanced features require paid version. For example, Udu Enterprise, but that's going to be for the enterprise level that will be requiring a payment. If you're here to try it out, it has no payment. As you can see, it is starting for free, no credit card required. But if you change it to enterprise level or your business level, that would be around $7.25 a month if I'm not mistaken. Let me check the pricing here. Perfectly right there. That's going to be $10.90 per month for the enterprise level and then for the standard. That would be $7.25. Here's the differences of the monthly repayment. As you can see right here, yearly and monthly. All right. What is also another con for this one? So the last con I can think of for this one is it can get expensive depending on the apps and modules used. As you can see right here, they are a lot. Each of them costs differently. For example, you use accounting, knowledge, science, CRM altogether. Each one of them compounding it's going to be a different price than just using one. It's just not a one-time payment for everything, of course. If you want to use multiple applications, you're going to pay extra. So who is it for? Basically, startups looking for flexible ERP, SMEs needing for centralized tools. Now, basically, for the summary on this one or my conclusion, please try it out if you're really looking for starting business. I know it may sound hard for the start or the learning curve I mentioned earlier, but just be patient and you'll get there. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.